What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command with another FAFO file. Ah, gentlemen, as you all should know, yesterday's HMT has been thoroughly, thoroughly shadow banned and outright suppressed in the algorithm. We all know why. And as a matter of fact, one of the points that I actually talked about, about how the lamestream media would do everything in their power to suppress any type of criticism of the alphabet community that shows just how violent they truly are. Thank you, YouTube, for proving my point. Oh yeah, gentlemen, oh yeah. Since the comment section was turned off on that video, gentlemen, in this video, the comment section let loose. That's right, gentlemen, expend all your rounds. The range is hot. Have at it in the comment section with this one. Now we all know what's going on with that woman over in Dubai. Normally, FAFO is a Friday episode. However, this one's too good to not do. Now, this article was published on the 14th of July. Houston woman detained in Dubai, charged with screaming in public. <laughs> you know what that is, gentlemen? That is a woman that is finally being held for her damn behavior. She is facing the consequences of her actions. Oh yeah, this is good. This is actually delectable. I'm going to have fun with this. The last two months are described as quote unquote terrifying for a Houston woman who we're told is being detained in Dubai. So why is she being held? The quote unquote crime, Tierra Young Allen is charged with may surprise you. No. It is not a surprise. Why? Because if that was actually a criminal offense over here in America, you'd have a whole lot of women who'd actually be tossed in jail. But we know the reason why the American black woman especially is allowed by the government to behave the way that she has been allowed to behave. And I'm definitely going to break that down later. Dubai is an increasingly good vacation destination for a number of Houston women. And we know the real reason why. They're not going over there for quote unquote vacations. They're going over there to be Yeah, they're going over there to get a quote unquote Chocolate Sunday. <laughs> but it's not chocolate. <laughs> oh, I truly ain't a pile of chocolate ice cream. <laughs> oh, I'm too much. I'm too much. Now, one is trying to get back to the Bayou City, but we're told her passport has been confiscated because her mom says she's been charged with the crime of screaming in public. First and foremost, where is her father to talk about this? Oh, that's right, that's right. Silly me, in America, Fathers are irrelevant, especially black fathers. Unless it's about paying child support. 
quote unquote, it could also result in prison time. So it's very scary, explains Alan's mom, Tina Baxter, who says the trip turned terrifying for her daughter, Tierra Young Allen. Why do they have different last names? Up, oh, once again, another product of baby mamaism, not of a wife. When she was a passenger in a friend's rental car, they got into an accident there in Dubai. Baxter says when her daughter went to the rental car company to retrieve her ID, credit card, and other items left in the rental, it didn't go well. First things first, why was her documentation not secured in a purse? Hmm. Hmm. Simple question. Why? Quote, unquote, she found out that she could only receive those items if she paid an undisclosed amount of money. She dealt with a very aggressive individual, a young man who was screaming at her, Baxter ads. Stop right there. Stop right there. <laughs> right there, they're actually trying to shift the blame. Women are so notorious for doing this, they do it unconsciously. Do you honestly think that this woman walked into there, she had on, you know, some holy garb, and she was on her best behavior, and this dude just started going off on her? Oh, no, 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 no. We all know the reputation of the American black woman especially in public, especially when things are not going her way. Oh, who gonna check me, boo? I'm about to turn up in this bitch. Yeah, everybody knows the reputation of the American black woman. No other country is that stupid or that behind. Quote, unquote, she is in jail for one reason and one reason alone. She raised her voice. In that country, a female is not allowed to raise her voice. Um, Actually, being loud in public is something that no one is allowed to do. Stop cherry picking the argument. If she raises her voice, it is punishable by jail time, explains community active the community activist, excuse me, Quanell X. This fucking clown. Seriously? This is another reason why the black population, or excuse me, the American black population can never make any headway. You got clowns like this who come out and make sure they got to get their 15 minutes of fame. What the fuck is this Quanell X doing? Or excuse me, what has he actually done? done. That's right. People outside of the black American population look at people like this as a goddamn joke, a fucking shyster. He's coming with his hand out saying, hey, you know, fuck over a little bit of dough and I'll give you my word. And we all know when it comes to the American black population, as long as you can talk a good game, that's enough. Quote, unquote. It's been very emotional. There are days that I stay up all night crying, says Baxter, while choking back tears. Uh, or should I say, putting on a Academy Award winning performance for the camera. We know good and damn well that the vast majority of black women are damn near unable to cry. Why? Because to them, crying equals weakness. And we can't have that. The strong, independent black woman, no, she can't be seen, you know, shedding tears. Oh, no, we all know crying in the black community is definitely a bad thing. Quote, unquote, they have a strict law system that is really based on theocracy. Quanell adds, 
one website warns, quote unquote, laws and customs are very different. So be aware of your actions to ensure you don't offend while in the United Arab Emirates. There you go. There you go. In black and white, it says, hey, know the laws before you bring your ass over here. Now, Baxter says her daughter is charged with screaming in Dubai and says her passport has been taken. And the American social media influencer who works as a truck driver can't leave the UAE. Good. She also says her daughter has now been placed under a travel ban pending the outcome of the investigation. Quote, unquote, it's very frightening. The longer she's been there, the more reality has started to kick in, Baxter says. Yes, what is that reality? That's right. You're not in America. The shit that you're allowed to get away with over here does not transfer into other societies. That's the reality. That's the lesson. Quote, unquote, in our opinion, she did not commit a crime. Don't punish women for doing the same thing a man can do in Dubai. Once again, this guy is cherry picking the points that make the woman, the victim. No, 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 no. Dubai is very good on enforcing its laws across both genders. It's not fair and it's not right. I've reached out to the Dubai consulate like they're going to actually take time out of their busy schedules to talk to some quackpot activist. Um, yeah, no. No, I reached out to the American consulate there in Dubai, Quanell explains. Once again, like the American consulate is going to waste their time on some crackpot community activist. You have no clout to actually make any sort of a bargain, which is something else that I'm going to go into when I'm done. I reached out to the US and UAE embassies. I'm still awaiting responses, i.e. what they're saying is you're not important enough to even have a conversation with. The 29-year-old does have an attorney there in Dubai, and she's told them she could be sentenced to jail because there is surveillance video of her screaming. Oh, I can't wait until that comes out. We're really gonna see the American black woman in action. We all know it, we've all seen it. So many ratchet ass videos out there of the American black woman just acting a plum damn fool. Yeah, guess what? Your reputation precedes you. We're told Allen is originally from San Diego but her mom says she and her daughter have lived in Katy for the last three years. Ah, gentlemen, I have to give this a FAFO score of nine. <laughs> now, to get into some things that I want to talk about. First and foremost, unlike the Brittany Griner situation. This woman does not check off the third thing that would actually put her in more of a position to be bargained for. That's right. She's not part of the Rainbow Mafia. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Second, she's over there acting a dumb ass fool. She thought she could turn up. Who well, go check me, boo? Remember, over here in America, in the West, the black American woman 
has been incentivized and actually rewarded, albeit very smallly, but rewarded for her bad behavior. Yeah, the way that she's allowed to talk to black men, that's all been by design. The way she's been allowed to disrespect black men, that's all been by design. Why? Because go back to my video called The Black Woman White Feminist Parallel, where I break it down. That's right. That same system that black women love to say that black men need to fight against is the same system that she has no problems using against black men who, quote unquote, get out of line. Now, she's over in another country. Guess what? That system isn't there to protect her. So guess what? She's on her own. And gentlemen, this is a prime example of why I said whenever Pookie or Pukisha goes to another country, let the locals deal with them. That's right. Oh, that is right. Just like more American black women who go over to other countries and guess what? They get that wake up call. All of that neck popping, all of that loud talking, those other countries are not going to acquiesce to ratchet female behavior. See, now they've gotten a taste of a true patriarchy. And guess what? They don't like what they're getting, which is why we all know when it comes to black women and traveling, yeah, they try to go to places where they think that they can still throw their weight around. Mm -mm. That attitude does not work outside of America. There's a famous phrase that says, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Us men understand that very well, which is why passport brothers will always be a resounding success. Why? Because as men, we can definitely acclimate to a new society. We understand the laws in place. We understand that we are going to be held accountable for our actions. During my time in Japan, I've seen several sailors and some Marines actually end up in Japanese jail. Why? Because they broke the rules. Now, fortunately, there was a SOFA agreement, a status of forces agreement that they were able to use to get those guys out. But during their time, they came out and told us, look, you do not want to go to Japanese jail. Hell no. So yeah, and whenever they did fuck up, guess what? They were made an example out of. So I'm going to reiterate, whenever Pookie or Pukisha and Ray Ray, when they travel to other countries, they get in trouble, let the locals have them. Hey, that's the only way for a lot of people to learn. Sometimes the easiest lessons in life have to be learned the hard way. <laughs> well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Watch the various videos that people are doing on this particular topic. Yeah, I think the vast majority of people are in agreement. This woman went over there. She decided that she was going to take her American attitude with her. She thought she was going to be able to turn up and people were going to bow down and acquiesce. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is definitely a grand fuck around and find out moment. And the whole world is able to watch it play out. <laughs> this is wonderful. And before I go, great news. If you're a Call of Duty fan like me, now that Microsoft has a officially acquired Call of Duty, I can go back and play some of the old school games. All of the Treyarch, Sledgehammer, and Infinity War Call of Duties. Still, fuck the, fuck the Activision Call of Duties. 
not going to waste my time with them. But yeah, it's grand. It's grand. And for you American women, especially you American black women, you need to understand this and understand this crystally clear. The power you think you enjoy over here in America, it only works over here in America. Feminism and the idea that all men around the world are going to acquiesce to you because you're American, that is definitely shown to have gone out right along with it. Because ladies, once you get to another country, guess what? You are subject to that country's rules, no matter what you think. Just because you're American, nah, that ain't affects over there. Mm -mm, mm -mm. And guess what? This woman fucked around and thought that her American privilege was gonna work in Dubai. And guess what? Now. She found out, nah, sis, that ain't going to fly over here. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am.